Hello, welcome back. Hope you are enjoying this series and learning something new. And if you have any suggestions, please give in the comment section and share with people. So, and even if you have better ideas, feel free to share. I might not be sharing the best thing, right? So that can even help me. So in the previous video, we saw that how you can create the test cases from here, and there was an option that comes here, and we created various kinds of suit. For example, this is requirement based. This is static, and one is query based. Right, so we created all these cases, but we create cases so that we can execute it. Right, so last time I told that for creating the test cases and all, we use this button. Right, we can assign even configuration if you want to do cross browser and all, or test the same test case with different configuration. That can be done like this: assign configuration, and there is an option here where you can uh, create configurations as well. Right here. you can go to this option and create a new configuration for example there is a browser configuration and all right you can have a new configuration variable and uh, name it as maybe operating system right or they already have operating system and you can have various ones right whatever you want but let's go back and focus on the test case execution like how you do the execution so one way is like uh, you want to keep the execution separate you have you are using bagasura or test case studio or some other tools by which you are capturing screenshots and all and you know that these cases are pass or fail so one way is you can select all of them right like this and simply you can do at bulk level pass and fail but uh, if you want to do the tracking and all right and sometimes if you do it by mistake you can mark it as A reset to test active then it it can become like this you can mark back like this retest to active and this is one way of doing the execution another way is like you click on this button run for web application what will happen is you can even do step level failure right here you see that there are three steps if you want to fail at various steps and if you want to create a bug which is linked to the test case there is an option or to create a bug right it has already copied all the steps and all the configuration that you are testing so which is helpful and you can even edit it right if it is not making sense you can write things over here i can say login failing right you should write very good bugs i am this is just an example so that we can focus on the main thing right so i just clicked on save save and close if you see this got failed and to see the history i would need to double click on it and go here so these are the various execution of this test case this is the recent one if i'll click on that i'll see that there is a bug created right so you can see that there is a bug created with the id 36 which i can search here right and probably can assign to one of the developers for the right for the bug triage so this is one way of doing the execution where you can fail at the step level another good functionality that we get is like if you click on here and you are testing an application let me open that automation practice that we were so this is the site let's say we were testing this and uh, uh, this test case belong to that so i'll click on run for web application right it will open a pop up so what i did is like i installed this from the chrome store right the name of the plugin is we this test and feedback so it helps you in taking the screenshots and screen capture and make your like do the documentation for your execution so i added this then it will appear like this experimental icon and you can give your url right then when you click on this even if you have not added it, it will automatically tell you when you will uh, click on this button right so for example i want to uh, take a screenshot for this so i'll click on this button right it is asking me that which window screenshot you want i want this window right i'll click on that right now it will give me the option to do the click for example if i feel that it should be 80% sale right 
so i can do like this right this is the problem i can write a text here that it should be 80% right so while doing the execution step by step you are capturing things so you see it, it automatically came over here and uh, you need not to prepare a separate document for your execution right so here i showed a bug but if it is not a bug and you are just capturing you can do like this even there is an option to uh, record a video right it is asking you to record so now the recording is started here right so i can maybe say a recording okay i clicked on this option women and i can able to see these various options right and i can say that this is working fine and then i can open this and stop the recording that will also get saved right and i can do the test case step and fail at the at this level as well so once i am done i can click on save and close and let's see what it did so this was the case i can click on that i can go here and i can see whether those screenshots which i was taking doing the execution were they saved yes they are saved right so anybody can view at step level as well so see whatever i stored got stored over there and even there is a screen recording which we did here right you are seeing that screen recording it got downloaded so it is helpful sometimes the steps are really complex i am taking a simple example that's why Uh, maybe you might be thinking that why do you need a recording it's a feature use it in your context like if you really need it you can use it right you can see that my screen and all whatever navigation i did so this will help in sometimes doing the rca that why how come we miss something maybe uh, was it the problem at that time as well right so you are just reading things and doing it parallelly so this uh, this tool which is a plugin test and feedback it is doing things with you for you parallelly so that is one way of doing the execution using the inbuilt this thing or if you want it other way like you can just uh, one of the another way i'll tell you is just click on this right you already have a screenshot you already have other tools for example wink is one of the tool that i use you can find in the description right so which can give you this kind of facility but in a different way so you can even add a attachment over here right you already have some word document or something you don't prefer this way right you don't like it maybe or you have a better way you just can do the attachment and click on save and do right you can just make the test case pass and fail at this level as well suppose it is blocked due to some bug you can attach the bug as well here right and click on save and close and status you can see got blocked okay so just to summarize that there are various ways to run it one is at bulk level you select from here and directly make it pass and fail if you don't want to keep more documentation that right? this was the first way another way was this way where it opens a pop up for you it gives you option to take screenshot right it also allows you to take recording and you can do step level failure right and another option is third which is from here only so where you attach something right you attach a document and all and you can create a bug also in here way also and in third way as well so these are the various ways uh, there is another way with the rest apis i will share that in another video because by which you can without coming to this you can make this pass fail but it's a little bit uh, things there th those that are there to understand in that so i'll use that another video for explaining that and here you can prepare a charts right you can create a new test result chart you want to group by let's say outcome so you can see like this and then you can send it to dashboard from here so that people can see that what is going on you can create at this level at the high level or at the regression and various levels and this can be sent to dashboard so these charts would be useful when all the charts you will see together so hope you understood that how we can execute test cases in test under test plan in azure devops if, if any questions do post them down thank you for watching